The Henson Options program is where the software defaults are set up. If your software is not licensed yet, the registration tab will be shown as the first page. Enter your clinic or practice details here. This information will appear on the bottom of your printout. There are three parts to the tests tab, Smart Supra Single, and Multiple, and Driving. For Smart Supra Single we can set the threshold method by patient age or measurement, the start level, screen or 24-2, whether to auto-extend if any points are missed. This is useful as the patient is unaware of any issues during the test and the testing strategy. Standard is faster, while multi-sampling is more robust as it requires repeated testing of each location. For Smart Supra Multiple we have the same options. The threshold method by patient age or measurement, the start level, screen or 24-2, and whether to auto-extend if any points are missed. The driving test only has one option specific to the UK DVLA, which stipulates that the beep sound must be on. Turn the beep on or off here. On the computer tab we can see the Henson device is listed. We can change the language. The change is only permanent when save is pressed and set software only mode if the software is to be used without the Henson connected. On the database tab we can set the database location using the browse windows at the bottom of the screen. Select JPEG or DICOM images for the database. See the Henson 9000 user manual for further information on DICOM. And, if JPEG, set the DPI for quality. High DPI means a larger file size. For touchscreen users, a keyboard can appear when the database search is pressed. To have the option to enter patient details when printing, click Yes. The default view for the database is set here. Tree view or list view. The software can automatically create any missing database images and also create any progression reports automatically too. These will be created in the default images folder. The default VA format used in database entry can also be set here. The backup tab is where we set the location to which the database is backed up when we press save again using the browse boxes. You have the option to store a copy of the printout image with the backup as well. This is useful if your practice management software deletes the files it imports. If you wish to use a cloud storage tool then it will require a local folder to save to that is then synchronized with the cloud. Care should be taken selecting this option as a hard drive failure before a cloud copy has been made would result in data loss. The video tab is where we set up the Henson 9000 camera. If there is more than one camera attached to the computer, select it from the drop down list. It is possible to perform a digital zoom on the image and also to reposition it. The factory setting can be restored at any time by pressing the Reset Defaults button. Practice management integration is now included in the software. The software can import from a network-based text file, or patient details can be passed directly to the software. The image file name can be edited to include the patient's full name if the practice management software requires this. See the Henson 9000 user manual or help file for full details. 
For backwards compatibility, the PDF tab is used where a PDF copy of the database save image is required. It can reside with the database JPEGs or be in any folder or network drive. If you have upgraded from a version with PDFs, then these can be removed using this button. If you do not wish to create a PDF, then clear the path box. The registration tab is where the software licensing is handled. See our separate video for instructions on how to license your software. Pressing the save button will save all of the changes made on each of the tabs.